All right, this is an unboxing of a $500 Dwight D. Eisenhower with speaker, D104, and hand mic, and owner's manual. Okay, there's the box. It looks pretty good. Ain't all destroyed. All right. Here we go. We're going to now open the box. <sighs> Here we go. This is probably the most expensive radio that I've ever purchased. Even more expensive than the 2980 for 300. go. All right. Um, yeah, that's okay, I guess. Styrofoam. Okay. Bubble wrap. That's okay. Here's the hand mic. President hand mic. Coffin style. There's a power cord. Brand new in the box. Mic hanger. Screws for the mic hanger. That's weird because at base station you don't put a mic hanger on a base station, but oh well. Okay. Speaker. Alright, let's unwrap. Oh, that looks pretty nice. It's a $150 speaker. Now yeah, there's a little dent right here from some time in the past. The screws are nice. They aren't all rusty. The back is like all the others. It's got that rainbow patina. President speaker. Okay. President speaker. Okay, here we go. D104. Silver Eagle. Ah. Wait. Wait. Wrap it back up. <laughs> I'm a little shaky. No, it's on pause. No, it's on pause. Is it on? I don't see a light. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. It shut off on me. Okay, here it is. The uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower with the owner's manual. And it's got a microphone right here. The old coffin mic. And it came with a Silver Eagle. Got the Silver Eagle here. Nice looking mic. It's nice and chrome. It's not really that... It's got some pitting, but... You know, what do you expect? Hmm. And the speaker. So the Dwight D. Eisenhower base station that cost $500. Right there. And the one underneath it is the President Madison. We'll get to that one later. That's in pretty damn good shape. Both of them are. It actually, the uh, Dwight D looks a lot better. This one needs to have it clean, the clock cleaned. <laughs> anyway, there it is the President Dwight D. Eisenhower with D104 Silver Eagle 
original stock hand mic in the box and the owner's manual. And we'll be getting to this here on Boat Anchor CB Repair pretty soon. And that one too. And those two down there. And those right there. And that up there. And of course, this one uh, was working until the clock stopped working. Because the gears on that little wheel there chewed up like they always do. That's the problem problematic point to these motors. <sighs> Is that those gears go out? See how that little gear in the center of that brown wheel is uh, totally gone. They're easy to fix and I got some gears coming. But this is that other Dwight D that I thought I had working and uh, it does work but the clock don't work now. Yeah. And I got another one down there that I'm going to put this radio right here into it. An old 2010. And there's a bunch of stuff that I'm going to be putting on this channel. That's an old Helicrafter. Old Simba. You probably can't see it. In 2000. A couple of them in 48s. <coughs> that uh, meter there. Yeah, I know it's dark. Mm. I got a camera coming. My Sony. We'll see. Okay, but anyway, there's that radio that I unboxed today. $500. That Madison down there is $400. That Madison down there on the bottom that was uh, <coughs> um, 400 that one there uh, was uh, I got 100 bucks I got that one from Flash I got that top one from Flash and I got that Midland 999 from Flash oh. but anyway there we go that's what's in uh, store for the future. Boat anchor CV repair. Thumbs up.